Elizabeth Elliot says, waiting on God requires the willingness to bear uncertainty, to carry within oneself the unanswered question, lifting the heart to God about it whenever it intrudes upon one's thoughts. Welcome to the DCIKZ Live Series. My name is Wangashi Moniki. Psalms 27, 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Such a beautiful thing to sit and just wait on the Lord. But the truth of the matter is, while you are going through it, it's not beautiful. It's full of unanswered questions. It's full of un uncertainty. It's full of wanderings and, and longings. It's not beautiful while going through it. Imagine the children of Israel. After Malachi has prophesied, the Messiah is coming. Prepare the Lord Jesus. is on his way. Yet they had to wait for 400 years before Christ shows up into the picture. There's a 400 year gap between Malachi and Matthew. But they had to wait. And even when Christ comes, they cannot recognize him because they didn't even wait well. They didn't wait in certainty that God is going to fulfill his promise. Imagine David. He's been anointed. He knows he's going to become king. But he can't just go and take over the throne and tell Saul, Buddha, check in evil, Utoka, Nimimi king. No, he has to wait on God. Imagine Hannah. After crying out to God for this son that she was going to take back to God, still had to wait from the, for the promises of God to be made assured. Wait well. Wait with certainty that the Lord God, he who spoke, will finally bring it into completion. So in this season, are you waiting well? Are you waiting in grumbling? Are you waiting in prayer? Are you waiting with certainty that God is going to come through? Are you waiting well? Are you waiting with sure hope that the Lord Jesus Christ, he who spoke, will bring it into fruition? Barak, amen.